Okay, to show you the difference between these maps, um, I'm not going to attempt to video the Garmin unit itself because it would the footage would invariably be too out of focus and shaky. Um, I've got the base camp versions of these, so I can show you them on screen. Right now, my my Garmin device is connected, so um, which is quite handy because it can read the GB Discoverer maps as well, so we can make a comparison. Let's go full screen on this. Okay, we're in sunny North Wales, where I happen to live. This might be a little slow loading because it's coming off the SD card off the Garmin. Okay, one really cool thing you can do with Basecamp, particularly with these uh, OS maps, is um, you hit the 3D button and it all goes 3D, so you can actually see the valley there where the the River Conwy, as it sort of flows out to the sea, and you can see all the all the hills and the elevation. You get a sense of a better sense, really, of the um, the geography. And if we, I'm heading over to Snowdonia here to really <laughs> exaggerate the point. So, if you're someone who seeks out big climbs, it's it makes it much easier, really, to to visualise the landscape and choose a good route. Um, you can obviously zoom in, you can change the elevation, make it a bit steeper, a bit shallower. Sort of spin around to get the view you want. Which is quite nice. Uh, but I digress. This is the Vela map for that same region we're looking at there. Um, quite plain, bland, don't really like it. As you zoom in you do get a bit more detail. But um, let's go back to the OS map. I'll stick it in 2D just to make it more comparable. I think that's much nicer. Anyway, what we're really looking at here is the new one, this British Isles and Contours, which is the one from Talky Toaster. Um, let's zoom into Llanberis. So that's what it looks like in the OS, Ordnance Survey rather. Um, and in the, the open source, the open street map one from this British Isles Contours from Torgy Toaster, if we switch to that, you get quite a lot of detail really. And as you zoom in, the detail is expanded um, right down to sort of individual establishments. There's the uh, wonderful Pete's Eats Cafe, a favourite of many climber. And the beauty of these open source maps is that well, they're open, so anybody can contribute to them. You can go to um, the website and just download a piece of software. One of them is called Potlatch, I think. Um, and you can contribute to these maps. So some people say that the data is much more accurate on route because they're generated by people who have ridden the GPS, uh, rid ridden the trail themselves, generated the GPX file. And use that to overlay on the map, so you know the accuracy and the precision is there. So that's sort of one plus point, really, that uh, people quote as an advantage of these open source maps over the Ordnance Survey ones. So I guess it's a question of preference, really. I think if you go to a certain level, these these one to fifty maps lack detail when you zoom in too much. Clearly. The Land Ranger series would be uh, would give you more detail, but I think the uh, OS maps are definitely one to watch in future. I think the clarity will will be there, the accuracy will be there. Um, just the way that they're they're crowdsourced, I think it's it's probably the future of these things. But for now, I still love the OS maps. But even though they're all based on the same open street map data, they, they seem to vary a lot. I mean, if we go back to that Velo map again, it's um, it's still got some detail there, but it visually it looks quite different, really, from the Talky Toaster one. If we switch between them there, that's the Velo map, and then this is the Talky Toaster. Again, the level, the level of detail sort of changes as you zoom out to And this is obviously the one with the contour lines as well, so we can see all the mountains there. I 
I hope that gives you some idea of the difference between the different mapping options. I just wanted to finish this video with uh, some screenshots taken from the Garmin unit itself to show how the, the level of detail changes as you zoom in and out of the maps. Um, I've included a, some screenshots here on in, within the video but the best way to see them will be to go to my website which is www.scarletfire.co.uk you can see the screenshots uh, in more detail there um, but you get a sense here of uh, how the detail changes as you as you increase the zoom level and I've, I've put some thoughts and observations of my own at the bottom there which you're free to agree or disagree with that's all for now folks thanks a lot bye